Uh, an ETF investing directly in Bitcoin, meanwhile, will also list on Australia's main stock exchange for the first time today. But Meg Intelligence says that could help bring nearly $1 billion of assets into the nation's virtual asset ETF. So BI ETF analyst Rebecca Sin joins us now. So, Rebecca, what do you see is the, the, the biggest impact of this listing? This is the first spot Bitcoin ETF that's going to list on the ASX today by Van Eyck. And so for those that may not know, uh, on CBOE Australia, there was already previously three Bitcoin and Ether ETFs, and those were listed by Global X21 shares and Monochrome. And so this now allows investors access to Bitcoin across not only CBOE in Australia, but also ASX. And the main importance of this is that ultimately, if your product is listed on ASX, it will also be listed on CBOE, but the reverse is not true. And so for those ETFs that were listed previously, like Global X21 shares, Bitcoin and Ether ETF that was listed in 2022, um, those are only accessible on CBOE. So the potential for this is huge. Across Asia Pacific, we've seen a lot of interest and globally for virtual assets. You may recall earlier this year in January, the U.S. had spot Bitcoin ETF launch, and that has amassed more than uh, close to $20 billion worth of ETF trading volume. And so huge interest into this product. And so for Asia Pacific, now people can trade virtual assets in Hong Kong as well as Australia. Does that mean that we could see more offerings and more availability for the wider public to access these uh, assets? I think that's definitely true. If we look at the Australian market across ETFs, it's mainly dominated by advisors. So advisors hold roughly 70 to 90% of the market share. And so now for retail investors in Australia, they can now access virtual assets via the ETF. Ultimately, it's a lot easier to access Bitcoin via an ETF as opposed to the coin directly because you have to open a cold storage, you have to have a wallet, and oftentimes you have to worry about the various exchanges being hacked. But now that it's offered through an ETF format, it makes it safe, regulated, and trading on an exchange. And so in terms of product offering, now that we have spot Bitcoin, we could expect to see vast is coming. We could expect to see leverage in inverse product. We could see um, it being adopted into uh, portfolios. And so an estimate that, uh, that people said is if we look at the entire adv advisory model, um, even if you allocate 1% into cryptocurrencies, you know, this would be a huge impact. And so that's why across Australia, we think that it could have as much as a $1 billion impact. If we look at the Australian market specifically, they are currently ranked fourth across Asia Pacific by assets under management. So they have have roughly 125 billion dollars and one of the leading ETF issuers in Australia is BetaShares and they have recently uh, had a 300 million dollar uh, investment by Temasek in Singapore um, they've launched BetaShares Direct which is the retail platform that offers free trading for ETFs for all of their investors um, they made an acquisition into Bankdigo and Adeline Bank into superannuation so the Australian right. market is uh, very in, very mm. interested and invest into ETFs on a regular basis. So this is another product offering that shows the growth potential that Australia has. Yep. Bloomberg Intelligence ETF analyst Rebecca seen there.